So in video 1112, we made this, a hand crank charger from a drill that cost us a pound for this board. And what I did was connect it up to the meter, give it a quick spin. Uh, and that was perhaps a little unfair because, you know, meters, well, they read one thing and what we really want to know is, will it actually do anything? So I've connected it up to a lighting panel. And if I give that a bit of a spin, there we go, our lighting panel lights up. Whoa, <laughs> that's actually really quite bright. Of course, what most people want to do with something like this is connect it up to a phone charger. They want it to be a phone charger. So I grabbed this. There it is. It is a USB phone charger from my local pound shop, so I spent another extravagant pound from it. Split the case off. Now, on these phone sockets, the... Um, car is always 12 volts on the center pin and the negative is in the external prongs so there's my negative there's my positive if I connect that up now now we have ourselves a phone charger voltage regulation USB output phone and then if I give that a crank Sure enough, my phone is charging. Let me give you a close-up of the phone. Sure enough, there's the charging light. <laughs> there you go, we've built ourselves a hand crank phone charger. Now the Things to learn from this, really, I don't think are about how to build a hand crank phone charger, though that's a bit of fun. I think the things to learn are really two parts. One is the process, and the other is the people. The process, if you remember, we went and looked at what existed before, took it apart, had a look at the necessary blocks to replicate it, and it was pretty simple. Handle, gear, motor, electronics. And we did exactly the same thing. Handle, gear, motor, electronics. The electronics has two parts voltage regulation and output, and we split those up and replaced those with what we could find. Whenever you're building something, whatever that thing is, you need to break it down into those blocks and repeat those blocks. Don't get confused by all the twiddly bits and all the fancy bits you can do. What you need to is get to the core of it. Once you've got the core correct, you can add on to that core. If you look at all the twiddly bits around the outside, you'll never recognise what the core is. And the core is easy to recognise by looking at what went before. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the people involved. Now, the people involved, I think, split down into four types. There are those who don't know how to do it and are scared of doing it. Those who don't know how to do it and will give it a go. Those who know how to do it and those who think they know how to do it. Now I'm squarely in the those that don't know how to do it will, but will give it a go. That's me. I'm not worried about doing stuff. I'll give stuff a go. I'm keen to tell those people who don't know how to do it and are scared of doing it how essentially easy it is. I mean, yes, it can get very complicated. I'm not denying that. It can surely get extremely complicated if you want orders of efficiency and wonderful things and it's going to be uncomplicated but at the heart of it at the very basics of it it's actually really really simple and that's what i believe which is why i'm one of those people who don't know but will try and for those people who don't know but are scared what i'm trying to say is at a core it's really simple there's something really curious that happens and it's really curious that happens when I put a video up and I absolutely love it. It's one of the reasons I love YouTube and I love the community that we've got. Because there's this massive group of people who know how to do it. And these people who know how to do it actually tend to be super kind and super helpful. So this idea here, this one, that's not my idea. A couple of people suggested it on the posts. What I went is I did, went to the pound shop and bought one of those plug-in um, car port chargey thingies a pound, and added it on past my voltage regulation board. Awesome idea, not my idea. It was an idea given to me by a couple of people who know how to do it. Now when somebody knows how to do something, they recognize what a struggle it was. They're absolutely tremendously helpful. And if you read through the comments, you'll find some amazingly useful comments. I always do. 
It's why we adapt things in different videos, because I actually read the comments and I'll adapt something based on the other comments. It's a really nice comment I didn't include, and that was to um, put a rectifier bridge here so you could turn the handle either way. I didn't include it because it meant on soldering it, and the one we looked at had the same limitation that this one has got, so I didn't bother. But if you wanted to be able to turn that handle either way, then the suggestion was a bridge rectifier right there. Awesome comment, not something I knew, something that was told to me by people who know. And I find the community does that. Those three groups, people who don't know are scared, people who don't know give it a go, people who know and will help, fantastic, that's awesome. And I find it tremendously useful and it's also why the video projects will change. Then there's that group of people who think they know how to do it. They're actually a bit of a pain in the ass, uh, but you soon learn how to ignore them because they're the rude ones. They're almost invariably aggressive and rude and they'll say things like, oh, you don't know, that'll never work, you can't do it like that, it'd be impossible to turn that to charge a phone, which is clearly not true. But those kind of people are the people that we get hmm, false news from. But you can really grab onto them really easily because there's a lot of aggression there. The people who know and are helpful, you just pick up immediately the tenor of what they're saying. They tend to say things like, it'd be a nice idea if, uh, what about if you try that, have you thought about this? And they're usually tremendously helpful comments and really worth reading and the ones that I love. So the people involved when you're listening, you have to kind of mm, sift them a little bit. But you get an awful lot of help from the people involved and it's that help actually I rely on because I don't know what I'm doing. But putting the process and the people together, we can come up with stuff we can make lying around us that actually would make great products if you thought about it because go, we actually just got this out and left it kind of like a bit brutal there to be honest. If you think about it, if you put a pretty tube on here, stuff the electronics in, and then put that on the top or something like that on the top, you've got yourself a hand crank light, which would be awesome for so many things that I can think about because that cranking, it takes no effort at all actually. Let's connect it back up again just to have a look at that. It flickers, but stick a capacitor in there and you've got yourself a hand cranked emergency light. What an awesome product! I mean, there's just so many products you could build from something like this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.